Rap music videos have always been shot safely, few music videos go wrong since the location and setup of the video need to be secure and free from any risk, and any fake guns that are used are guaranteed not to be real guns. We shall examine music videos that went wrong in this video. ...and the set for that music video down there in that alley. It was lights and cameras, most likely cell phone cameras. And then a gunshot. And the star of the video is found dead in the parking lot right over here. Police are trying to find out what on earth happened to this aspiring star. Last night, Kilo Ivy is filming in this alley between an apartment and a shopping center in Seat Pleasant. He's starring in and directing another of his videos. Videos, videos on his mind. All he wanted to do was edit videos, come home, play basketball, eat, and do another video. At least 20 people are involved. According to sources, a gun, likely being used as a prop, goes off. Ivy is hit and killed. The cast and crew scatter. In April 2015, Kiawe LaFon's Ivy was found dead outside a Seat Pleasant, Maryland, apartment complex. He was filming a music video when he was fatally shot. Two days, Prince George's County Police said arrested LaFonso Leonard Irax, in connection with the fatal shooting of Kiawe LaFon's Ivy. Irax and Ivy were working on a video around 10.30 p.m. in the 500 block of 62nd Place, near the district border, when Irax fired his gun, striking Ivy in the chest. Although Ivy often performed as rapper Keelera, he was also a videographer and was behind the camera the night he was killed. It is unclear how Irax and Ivy knew each other, but sources say Ivy was paid to be at the video shoot on the night of the shooting. In April, 2016, an aspiring rapper was killed and four others injured, including one woman who was shot twice in the groin while filming a music video about guns in a Chicago park at around 2 a.m. on a Tuesday. The video, for a song called Two Tex and a 50 Shot, a reference to guns, was to feature a party scene filmed in Foster Park, but the day's filming ended badly when an unknown suspect or suspects opened fire, killing Damon Dawson. Local rapper Foreign Life said the gunman approached from behind the camera. Foreign Life told police he didn't get a good look at the shooters. The camera was on me and the shooting started from behind, he said. So at that point everybody ran, scattered, going their separate ways. Damon Dawson, a 23-year-old aspiring rapper known as Thugga, was shot in the head and pronounced dead at the scene. Filming a music video at Foster Park in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. Jessica D'Onofrio is live from the south side this morning. Jessica. Judy and Terrell, family members have been here at the scene all morning. Some of them on the corner over there have been inconsolable. One woman tells me her nephew was murdered. She identifies him as 23-year-old Damon Dawson, an aspiring rapper. I told my nephew and them, they knew from the start that don't hang up here because things, people shoot. Guys, boys and them, they're around shooting, they know this. Life says he was the one on camera during shooting of a party scene when the deadly shooting happened just before 2.30 a.m. Boy, I was getting scene shot then. I heard my homie say that he hit, see somebody pulling up, whatever. We turn around, look back then. Quick as we look back, start shooting. Shots coming from everywhere, you know? So that's how I went down. In August, 2016, a life-threatening moment for King Yella was captured on film for the world to see. The Chicago rapper was filming a new music video with a Black Lives Matter theme when someone pulled up and shot him twice. The whole incident was caught on camera as you can see in the video. Luckily, King Yella and the other people on set for the video were not killed in the shooting. Yella was hit with one bullet that went in and out of his left arm. Another shot grazed his side. 
Despite being shot twice, the rapper was still able to drive himself to the hospital. On the streets, man, you know. Okay, so you shooting the scenes to the video, some positive, and you got different gangs out there, different sets? Yeah, some stones. Okay. It was a different gang, man. It was a lot of different people. Like, everybody that was in the circle wasn't even, you know, probably didn't even really know each other. Motherfuckers just came out to support a real nigga, you feel me? For one good cause. Yes, sir. And, and, and during the ending, the last sh scene shooting, you know what I'm saying? Last scene, you know, nigga try to take me out this shit. Wow. In October 2018, John James, a musician from Canada, died while performing a music video stunt while walking on the wing of a plane. The Calgary-born MC died in Vernon, British Columbia, filming a project he had been working on for months. John James had been training, intensively, to complete the stunt on a small Cessna plane. He died filming for a project he had been working on for months. His final act included performing an airplane stunt that included rapping while walking on the wing. As John got further out onto the wing of the plane, it caused the small Cessna to go into a downward spiral that the pilot couldn't correct. John held onto the wing until it was too late, and by the time he let go, he didn't have time to pull his chute. He impacted and died instantly. On October 2nd, weeks before, he shared an Instagram video of himself practicing an airplane stunt while singing his song, The Man. In December, 2019, Houston rapper Cash Out Ace was among nine people shot during his music video shoot on a Friday night at an industrial warehouse north of Houston. The rapper, whose real name is Miguel Guajardo, was in stable condition at a local hospital after being shot in the arm and near his eye. I said, man, we should go inside. Ed Gonzalez, Harris County Sheriff. Uh, this evening at about uh, 9.30 p.m., the Harris County Sheriff's Office received a call for service out here at this location in reference to a drive-by shooting. Uh, when they arrived out here, they found uh, multiple people had been shot. Uh, for the moment, we believe at least six people have been shot. Two are pronounced deceased here at the scene. Others are being, tre being treated at different uh, area hospitals, and we believe there could still be more that are injured that happened uh, to leave the scene before we got here and perhaps are seeking uh, treatment elsewhere. Uh, for anyone that was out here, we need you to please call, give us information. Uh, call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS if you have any information. This is a very serious situation. This is a residential neighborhood. Uh, a lot of shots were fired. We have an extensive uh, scene out here stretching several blocks, both on Smart and also uh, uh, Berwyn over here as well near Sweetwater. Uh, so we need the public's help. We're going to try to get to the bottom of it. What we know so far is that there was a group of males, Hispanic males, that were filming a music video in the parking lot. It's a uh, uh, like an office park. The group was ambushed in the parking lot of the industrial warehouse, about a quarter mile east of Interstate 45 between West Little York and West Gulf Bank Roads. The shooting killed Gonzalo Gonzalez, whom was 20 years old and Jonathan Jimenez, whom was 22. Gonzalez was hired to film the video and did not know Cash Out Ace personally, he was there for a little bit of payment to get his career started as a music video shooter. In September 2021, almost two years after the drive-by shooting four suspects including rapper Garo 10K, real name Christian Cavazos were charged with murder after being tied to the violent shooting that occurred in December 2019. Christian Cavazos was charged with the murder of two grandparents in their 60s. The couple were shot to death outside their home in September 2019, after they were reportedly mistaken for the grandparents of Cash Out Ace. Since Cash Out Ace was a well-known underground rapper with millions of views on YouTube, it was easy to find him because he was a member of a gang and had enemies. This amateur rap music video was supposed to feature a staged kidnapping. Haley Portner Cox age 23, was fatally shot in the early morning hours of July 27, 2020 in Riverview, Florida while she was filming the music video. Her boyfriend Eric Bronowski, age 22,
was also shot but survived the incident. The suspected shooter, 20-year-old Jordan Jamie Silver, was found by police hiding on a patio in the neighborhood soon after the shooting. He was arrested for alleged loitering and prowling, as well as trespassing. Silver confessed to participating in the music video but denied any involvement in the shooting or knowing any of the victims. He told law enforcement he heard gunshots and ran. Bronowski told detectives he and another man, Jayavani Boskesh, along with Cox and Silver, had been filming a rap video that day. The premise of the video involved a staged kidnapping of Boskesh. Mr. Boskesh advised the rap video was based on a staged kidnapping of himself, and all parties involved were aware the video was theatrical in nature. The video incorporated a live handgun as a prop, which Silver allegedly provided, as well as fake blood. At some point during production of the video, Boskesh told investigators he was applying fake blood to his body when he heard a single shot ring out. He turned around to find Cox, who was operating the camera, on the ground. He alleged Silver was holding the pistol. In May 2022, almost two years after the incident, Silver was found guilty of manslaughter, attempted first-degree murder. He is now serving time in prison. Things went crazy during the recording of this video. In December, 2023, Cameras captured the moment gunfire appeared to erupt during the filming of a rap video by up-and-coming Gary, Indiana, artist, Screwly G. The graphic video, which was making its rounds on social media, showed the beginnings of a rap music video recording as a room full of rappers and performers sang lyrics in unison. The men were rapping while facing the camera, completely unaware of the apparent danger looming behind them. But the scene was cut short when suddenly gunshots were apparently heard. The men took cover, and countless rounds appeared to continue to be fired as the rappers hit the floor. The sound of shattered glass was heard, followed immediately by a chaotic scene as the men scrambled in search of safety, not knowing where the apparent gunshots were coming from. The camera captured footage of multiple men ducking, with no real place to hide. Some took cover behind furniture, Gunfire apparently erupted once more and it seemed like multiple rounds were fired. Amid the horrific scene, the camera shifted. On this video we will take a look at Lil Mabu. In April, 2024, a rapper who once went viral on social media after he almost shot himself while filming his upcoming music video. Brooklyn-based drill rapper Lil Mabu was stunting for the cameras alongside his crew when he appeared to accidentally pull the trigger of a gun he took out from his pants. Needless to say, the gun went off shocking the 19-year-old and his mates, who were filming by their luxury car in an abandoned parking garage. In May, 2024, Lil Baby's music video in Atlanta was marred by gunfire, and audio of a 911 call about the incident was found surfaced online. The recording, obtained by TMZ, captured the chaotic scene after the shooting broke out and reveals one of the three victims was struck by a bullet in the neck. According to the outlet, the shooting was the result of an altercation between two unknown parties, as members of Lil Baby's label Quality Control were filming the video. Baby himself was not involved. The two rival groups reportedly began firing shots after tensions escalated, resulting in bystanders being wounded. When police arrived at the scene, paramedics were already treating two of the three gunshot victims. All three victims, who were males, made a full recovery, while police seized several vehicles from the scene of the shooting as evidence. Police also confirmed that the injured men were not believed to have been on Lil Baby's production team. The shooting came less than a year after gunfire erupted at the rapper's concert in Memphis, which left a man in critical condition.
A 17-year-old Virginia rapper made a fatal mistake when he tragically shot himself dead while attempting to film a profane music video for social media in May 2024. Rilo Huncho was seen on video posted to his Instagram story showing off a handgun, waving the barrel while displaying its built-in green laser sight and flashlight. He then took control of the grip, appeared to shut off the safety and pointed the gun to his head before pulling the trigger. He immediately left the view of the camera as the phone fell to the floor in the wake of the blast. He was reportedly taken to a local hospital, where he was eventually pronounced dead. Thank you for watching, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, for more upcoming videos.